would say that this pandemic crisis that eventually created this economic havoc uh, brought all policymakers to the table. And around the world, we saw uh, fiscal measures being taken, massive efforts in order to sustain uh, credit, in order to make sure that money flew in the economy, in order to make sure that people either, either kept their jobs or kept their income if the jobs were suspended for a period of time. So I think the efforts was across the board and in, in many corners. Now, there are places where it took longer. Uh, they were, it took different forms as well. Uh, the most fiscally capable countries put probably more on the table than others. But I think it was, it was a, a, a pretty general effort. Are you worrying that the sustainability of those efforts has a sell-by date? Yeah, very much so. I'd like to say that the recovery is underway, but that it is uncertain, incomplete, and uneven. And the uncertainty around the recovery has to do predominantly with COVID-19. Is it going to go into a small, a medium, a large, an oversized second wave? Will there be a third wave? How long will it take to find the right, very efficient testing methods? How long will it take to get the vaccine to market production uh, at, at, at a fast pace? What kind of therapy will be available? That's a bucket of uncertainties that is out there. But as part of the uncertainties, you also have those safety nets that have been put in place to support uh, jobs and employees, to support credit and companies, to support debt and sovereigns. Is that going to disappear suddenly? Will there be a gradual phasing out? Is the phasing out going to be synchronized with the pickup of the economy? Those are the big sort of more economic questions and financial questions uh, that uh, impair this recovery at the moment. So they are health and safety in the first place, but they're also economic and finance. And the courage that was deployed um, in the early days need to now be uh, really uh, very carefully applied to phasing out while recovery picks up. And this very uh, subtle synchron synchronization that is needed uh, will be the trigger to either success or very slow going recovery. Does this crisis set us back in terms of global governance and the ability to respond to crises from what you're seeing so far, not Europe, globally? Or, or is it really creating mom momentum uh, for better response? I would hope that it triggers momentum. I can tell you that from this region of the world, uh, it has certainly encouraged, supported a, a much more um, collective and better better governed collective response. Irrespective of, you know, um, noise on the line, if you will. And there will be, it's, it's inevitable. At a global level, I would hope that uh, international organizations that we have listened to, like the World Health Organization, uh, my, my, my favorite former institution, uh, the IMF, will come out of that uh, hopefully stronger than they were when they went into the crisis. But uh, jury is out, we will see.